Hi there gorgeous! In today's video I'm sharing my top favorite blue based red lipsticks. These come from a variety of different price points so there's something here for everyone. Why would you want a blue based red lipstick? That may be the first question you're asking if you're not really sure. I know that was me a few years ago when I first heard about blue based red lipsticks I thought well, why? When you have a blue undertone in a red lipstick especially the boldest fullest color comes out. And one of the most desirable qualities of having a blue undertone is that it makes your teeth look whiter because blue will counteract any yellowing that you may have in your teeth, making your smile appear much brighter. And one of the other desirable factors about blue-based red lipsticks is that they fit a variety of different complexions, from cool to warm Asian, most everyone can wear a blue-based red lipstick, but it's all about finding the right shade for you. So how do you know if you have a blue-based red lipstick? Because you may already have one in your collection. You wanna swatch it on your hand, and if you see any orange hint coming out in the lipstick, then you know for fact that that is not a blue-based red lipstick. But if you don't detect any oranginess in the red tones, then you know that you have a blue-based red lipstick. A blue-based red lipstick is basically Marilyn Monroe lips. When you see that iconic image of her, her lips are what a blue-based red lipstick should be, should look like. Very full, classic all the way around. By the way, I'm starting to get back to my historically accurate video series. I know many of you have been asking me about those, so I wanted to throw some of that into this video because red lipstick is one of those makeup products that is so historical and has shaped the world of makeup so dramatically. There are a lot of really interesting things that has happened with red lipstick in the past. So you may hear me pop up throughout the video with a really unique fact here or there. My first favorite blue-based red lipstick is from Stila, and that is their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beso. This is a true blue red. It's a very rich pigment, so a little bit goes a long way with this formula. This is one of those universally flattering shades that looks great across so many complexions out there, and even though it provides a matte finish on the lips, it's still very creamy because it contains avocado oil and vitamin E that Stila adds to their formula, so even though you're getting a matte look, your lips don't feel dried out with this one and they definitely won't crack. So a great red all the way around. One of my other favorite blue-based reds was a recent release from Maybelline. They came out with these seven universally flattering shades as part of this campaign to create lipsticks for everyone. And one of the shades was called Red For Me. And I tested this one out as well as the other shades that came out with my friend Corinne. If you missed that video, I'll have it linked for you below. But this shade in particular, Red For Me, is universally flattering. It's so pretty on so many different skin tones. It does have a satin finish, so it's not going to be completely matte, but it's so creamy on the lips. And these last for a ridiculously long time too. So excellent price point, excellent product all the way around. Another one that I highly recommend comes from ColourPop. They have two actually. The first one I'll show you is their Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade London Fog. Now this is a pinky red, so it's really great for those who have fair complexions and cool undertones because pink reds are a little bit of a way to participate in red without going full blown red, but it's still a blue based red. If you have not tried the ColourPop lipstick formula, you would be most impressed by it. It's very long wearing and looks sensational on the lips. Now, if you're looking for a true red, like a Marilyn Monroe red, I would highly recommend ColourPop's Creeper lipstick. Now this is a matte finish compared to London Fog that I just showed you, which was more of a satin finish. So you will get a slightly different result with it. And it is deeper by comparison also, but still a beautiful blue based red. Okay, are you ready for an interesting fact? Some of these are so fascinating. They're going to get more interesting as we go because I'm saving the best one for last. Queen Victoria believed her red lipstick could work magic and even repel death. And when they found her and when she passed away, she had an inch and a half worth of red lipstick applied to her lips. I don't know if that's true or not, but kind of reminds you of those 100 applications of videos, doesn't it? Back to lipstick, and we'll talk about the one that I'm wearing in today's video. This has become a new favorite of mine. This is from Laura Mercier. It's one of her Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks in the shade Dominate. 
You'll notice that these have a pencil-like packaging to them. They look like cream eyeshadows, so it's not a traditional liquid lipstick and it's not your traditional bullet form lipstick. And I really like this packaging for two reasons. Makes it easy to put in your purse and the application is seamless. These are so smooth to apply. You don't make any mistakes whatsoever during the application. It's the first time I haven't had to use a lip liner and I was able to apply my lipstick perfectly with just the pencil. And these have a fantastic formula. It is matte appearing. Like right now my lips look matte, but they don't feel matte. It's still very creamy on my lips and if I press them together, it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like my lips are getting scaly and it feels like my lips are hydrated, like I'm wearing a balm. So if you're looking for something new to try, <laughs> you would love these. Another great blue-based red I have to recommend to you is from Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick line. And what's great about Anastasia's Liquid Lipsticks is that they do not move. Once you apply them, they're pretty much there. The shade that I'm showing you here is American Doll. And this one is a medium dark red, still blue-based, dries down to be completely matte. And like I said, will not move. You don't have to worry about this one appearing on your teeth at all throughout the day. Simply fantastic. Going back to our fun facts here, did you know that our first first lady, Martha Washington, actually made her own red lip salve with a recipe that included hogs lard, alkanet root, and raisins? Who knew? Another favorite blue-based red lipstick that I have to share with you comes from Chanel's line, and that is one of her Rouge Coco Ultra Hydrating Lip Colors in the shade Gabrielle. This is a bright blue red with a satin glossy finish. It's very hydrating, extremely lightweight. If you've not tried any of the lipsticks from this line from Chanel, they are some of the best lip balm type lipsticks. They don't feel like you're actually wearing a lipstick and that's what I love the most about them. Did you know that Elizabeth Arden herself handed out red lipsticks to women fighting for voting rights at the 1912 New York City suffrage march. Now you know. The last blue-based red lipstick I had to share with you is one that I absolutely love. And it's got a lot of fascinating facts behind it too. A lot of people love this lipstick and I'll talk more about that here in a minute. That is Sephora's Lip Cream in the shade Always Red. Very creamy formula with these at an unexpected, inexpensive price point. Again, another one of those universally flattering shades. And get this, this is the shade that is used across so many different Chinese Vogue covers. Can you believe that? So this is a great one for Asian skin tones. This is also the go-to color for the Radio City Rockettes. They use these exclusively for all of their shows and they actually buy it in bulk before their season starts. And it is said that every Rockette will go through one tube per season of this shade. So that tells you right there universally flattering shade. If it, if it fits all of the Radio City Rockettes, that's a pretty amazing color right there. The last fun fact I have to share with you, this is just awesome. If you've never wanted to wear red lipstick, this fact alone will make you pull it out and put it on right now, I guarantee it. During World War II, red lipstick became patriotic. Why? Because Hitler reportedly hated red lipstick and women proudly wore their victory red as a big middle finger to Hitler. <laughs> That's just the fact. That's the way I read it, but I thought that was just awesome. But in all seriousness though, if you have been wanting to try red lipstick, but maybe putting it on in its rich pigment is a little too much for you to try, trust me, I've been there. It took me many years to get to the point of being able to wear it like this. One of the things you can do is take a little bit on your finger, dab it on your lips so you get more of a stain-like look and you're not putting it on in its full power pigment mode so you can get an idea of how a little bit of color added to your lips looks. And sometimes by doing that over and over and over again, it starts to warm you up to the idea of red lipstick and you start to get accustomed to seeing it and you can slowly add more over time. Feel free to share your favorite red lipsticks below and let me know what your favorite red lipstick historical fact was. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and look forward to seeing you again next time.